Happy days, my numismatic artistic friends. Right, today we are going to check these real coins against um, the fake coins. And we're going to use several different methods, including an uh, amazing method I've never seen done before in the, in the coin tuberverse. Maybe not even in the uh, the entire YouTube. Um, the, we're going to test the coins with a PMI analyzer as well as several other methods. Now the PMI analyzer is basically an X-ray gun and it fires an X-ray at the coin and the X-ray bounces back and gives a digital readout of the metallic makeup of the said coins. And we can check them against the specification that the Royal Mint have, have, have put out there, have, have put on the back of the coin packs. Okay, so what we'll do, what we've got first, we have got a genuine Kew Gardens, a genuine table and chairs from uh, the dual date one the old large size uh, 50p and then we've got a regular two pound coin i've chosen the one with the third portrait on so it it doesn't get mixed up with the uh with the the two horrible fakes that i found when read in someone's piggy jar and then we've also got album fillers or fakes or counterfeits whatever we want to call them nowadays of uh, the queue and the table and chairs so the first thing we can do is just by luck right so if i get the genuine queue gardens those who know know okay and then we get the fake one. We can look, can't we? We can see. We can see there's, you know, a lot of difference there. Okay, especially when we go to the other side. Now I'm not going to point out all the the fakery details of the fake. See, so, there's plenty of videos out there that do that. But uh, we're going to measure these. We're going to weigh these, and we're going to zap them with some X-rays. So let's get on with it. So what seems to be what seems to be quite fun across the coin tuberverse is, is testing them with magnets because some fakes contain a degree of iron. Now I've got this old magnet, okay, very similar to coin patrols, but if we draw it all over the coins, I'm not gonna to touch the the queue or the table and chairs, but if we draw them over the coins, it's not picking any up. And it is it is magnetic look, it's got the calipers there, in fact. Now I'm gonna to have to get them off, so I'll see you in a second. Uh, that took some doing. Look, it's left a big ring around the. Uh... <laughs> right. Anyway, so they're not magnetic, right? So that tells me that there's no iron content in these coins, the real and the fake. Okay. Now the specifications of the coins. Let's just go through it, um, coin by coin. Let's put the genuine coins together. Don't get them mixed up, Dan. Right. So the 50p, the, the the small size 50p, the metallic makeup is cupro nickel, which is an alloy of copper and nickel, and it's round about the the 80% copper and 20% nickel, roughly about that. Okay. Um, and then the, the the weight of it is eight grams. The diameter across the uh, smaller 50p is 27.3. The larger one, again, copper nickel, so the alloy of copper and nickel, weighs 13.5 grams and the diameter is 30 millimeters. And the two pound has two different metallic makeups. It has an inner disc of copper and nickel and an outer disc of nickel brass. It weighs 12 grams and its diameter is 28.4 millimeters, that is. Okay, so we can measure those against the specification. Now I've got my caliper here and I've had this some years. Now what I do is I just clean the jaws, set it to zero, and I pick up a coin. Now I'll pick up a coin, this is the genuine Q, and it reads 27.26. So that is close to 27.3 as you're gonna get. Circulated coin, so it's gonna have a little tiny bit of wear on the rim. Okay, let's, let's get the counterfeit, okay. And we can see that is way under size, 26.6 millimeters. Okay, so we know that is smaller than the genuine real deal. Okay, let's go to the big 50p. So this is a 30 millimeter one. So that's reading 29.99. So very close, as close as you're gonna get. And then the fake is slightly over by half a mil. Just double check, yep. Check it in several different planes, yep, definitely. Just just shy of half a mil. Oversize, okay. Now we'll take a fake, no we won't, we'll take a real two pound coin. 
it should be 28.4 it's 28.32 so it's been circulated so again we can allow for some some dirt some variation in the size just slightly under that's what you'd expect let's check a fake 28.4 so that's even closer still is that fake and the final fake 28.37 so that's not far off 28.4 so they're bang on the size okay that one's slightly larger than the genuine one and that one is way under the size right let's let's weigh these little uh, coinies okay so what i've got here is a a set of weighing scales some really delicate weighing scales okay so let's start off we can just re-zero this now the circulated coins will get worn a little bit in circulation that's on zero it's going to mind maybe it's because i'm laying on the table we'll come back we can even there we go and this should be eight grams or thereabouts so 7.89 7.9 grams that's possibly what you'd expect with a circulated coin yeah 7.9 grams okay let's check the the counterfeit get back to zero and that is seven grams so that's a whole gram lighter than the uh, than the genuine real one so not only is it smaller in diameter it's lighter in weight okay let's check the uh, genuine table and chairs so this one should be 13.5 grams and that's 13.4 fair enough so you can give a little bit of that because it's circulated okay we're going to talk in microscopic fractions here okay and the fake one 10 10.02 so yeah that is a whole three and a half grams lighter so it's slightly oversized but slightly well, very much lighter right let's check the fake and the real two pound coin so we'll start off with the real one the 97 now this should be 12 grams which it is bang on 12 grams okay let's check fake number one get you back to zero there we are oh bang on so the weight of that fake one is absolutely spot on check the way to this fake one and not far off not far off an eighth off so what we're talking here we're talking that the fake two pounds are in weight and size very much similar to the real deal they obviously look they obviously look really rough but um, weight and size not, not far off the conclusion of this is that the uh, the fake big 50p is lighter and the fake Q garden is lighter okay right let's get on to the PMI analyzer and this is really interesting now the PMI analyzer I'm not I'm not insured to use it it uh, has to be done by an expert and this is my friend who's going to use it and he's gonna do all the tests and give out the readouts and uh, I'll show you the video uh, of it all happening uh, <laughs> happened in my kitchen so uh, it's very interesting it fires a laser at the, the coins and it reads back what uh, what makeup the coins are and then we can we can pause it and we can put bits and pieces in as we uh, as we as we progress through the next part of the video so I hope you enjoy this the machine itself costs twenty thousand pounds so that's why I'm not allowed to use it and uh, it's very very interesting and it can be quite dangerous firing x-rays around in somebody's kitchen so let's get on with it happy days sorry i'm lying 20 grand 20 grand <laughs> you can get some second hand for 12 and a half obviously we can't buy second hand no it's got to be all legit ain't it? we'll do a real one first So just, that's the real deal. So where do you want that? Just, it's a bit hard with camera boom, isn't it?
Yeah, so you can see around about about 22.2 nickel copper as well, mm -hmm. 70, and then there's other bits and pieces that will. So that's the real deal. Mm -hmm. So then we'll try a fake one. Got zinc. <laughs> bit, bit of steel in it, bit of manel. Bits and pieces of all sorts then. Put that to one side. Right, same with big ones. Mm -hmm. So we've got the, the real deal there. Basically, copper and nickel. Mm. Then, isn't it? Yeah, 25%, 74%. Yeah, but better closer than Kew Garden, that one. Then fake one, which eBay special. <laughs> because they're hard coins to find, you see, they, they sell them as, as album fillers. Yeah, zinc. And that's why it's not magnetic. Yeah. Right. We'll do one of these. So these. So that's that's a real two quid. Well, but you'll only get the you know, won't you? Well, I could try and get the outer if you want. I'll try and do. When you, when you put the camera on, you can see the camera on the end. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's why you try and when you go to the. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so that's that's basically your cloth there. Yeah. Oh yeah. And your coin there. Oh hi, yeah. Look at that. You see it? Yeah. I was struggling to get that on camera, right? Like, but... That's a bit of a more accurate. Ah, so, yeah, you can see that. Yeah. Check the middle, middle of this yeah. bogus yeah. one. Yeah, a bit of aluminium in that. It's so accurate, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I just wonder if I thought this might come up with a bit of a. <coughs> Because usually what happens is if we get, like I showed you there with the aluminium, yeah, it'll come up there with the with what material it is. Yeah. If it's stainless steel, it'll come up with SS316. Ah, right, yeah. Um, yeah. And if it's 16 mol MO3, it'll it'll tell you there. Or could it be that the painted you see and yeah, it'll, it'll pick everything up. So so the paint makeup could be in, in the. That's where you'll get every now and then you'll you'll see a little bit of a lead. There you go. PB. That'll be, that'll be paint. Ah, so that'll be lead paint. That's that'll all. That'll be paint. Yeah. Jesus. But it's like say it is. Minimal. Microscopic. Yeah. So that's definitely a fake. That one. <laughs> it's hardly surprising. Look at it. Nice one, Paul. Yeah, all it takes yeah. is that. It'll just take some grease. <laughs> research a um, a word I'm not really familiar with and I, I try and avoid at all costs if, if I can I'm only kidding with you folks uh, thank you Bez for, for loaning me your skills and the and the PMI analyzer that really was interesting and I wish we could have spent more time doing more coins but, but what it what was was and, and we had some interesting results we found out that a two pound coin was made out of aluminium we found out another fake two pound coin was made out of uh, well it was painted the um, the the um, eec table and chairs one was smaller and weighed lighter and was was zinc and we also had a lighter q gardens and, and and it was made out of all kinds of different materials and the genuine q garden obviously was made out of copper and nickel just like the EEC table and chairs just like the Royal Mint says so I hope you found that interesting my fantastic friends let me know your thoughts and until next time you take care of yourself stay safe and as always have the sun an happy day